This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out so you don't think I see I'm analyzing that data. Listen, I was talking to a buddy of mine and, and we were discussing the 10 to 1 reverse split and even though I, I, I don't see any, and when I say any, any benefit to retail investors and his arguments were, well, well, Donahue, you're going to get a new QCIP number, then then they're going to have to struggle to find the shares and they're going to have to do this and they're going to have to do that. And, and let me tell you something. First of all, the QCIP number, while, well, yeah, that is true. They do have to get a new QCIP number. But all you guys are relying on the fact that they're going to use real shares. Have you not learned anything over the last two years Anything over the tokenized stocks, anything over the spoofing and the washing and the dog pool volume. Do these bad actors care about real shares? They don't care about real shares. They don't care about the availability of real shares. There could be one share available and they'll short 10 million into the market. They do not they're not concerned about real shares. They don't, they're not concerned about QCIP numbers because nobody reels them in. Nobody, nobody holds them accountable for breaking the law. So because they're not going to be held accountable for breaking the law, they, they're going to just naked short it to death and then push the FTDs overseas to Brazil and Panama and Cayman Islands or wherever else they, they send them. If a reverse split was so great and was guaranteed to get rid of the shorts. Why hasn't Bed Bath and Beyond done a reverse split? I mean, they're trading about what three dollars and forty. Say three fifty. Let's let's give them three fifty today. So they do a ten to one reverse split. Bed Bath and Beyond would be at thirty five dollars. Then they would have a new QCIP number, and then with a new QCIP number, the bad actors who've been shorting Bed Bath and Beyond to death because we know they're shorting Bed Bath and Beyond. Not as much as AMC and GME, but they're, sh they're naked short and Bed Bath & Beyond also. Why hasn't Bed Bath & Beyond did a, do a 10 to 1 reverse split, get a new QCIP number, and then the bad actors will be forced to, to, to find all their short, close all their short positions, and then life would be great. And then they could release more shares, make more money, and save their company. You know why? Because Bed Bath & Beyond knows what I know. The QCIP number means absolutely nothing. The bad actors will just naked short it to death and take that $35 and wind it back down to $350 again, probably, probably in three months or less. In three months or less. Because what all of you guys who support the reverse split don't realize is they do not follow the law. They do not care about real shares. They don't. They don't. So everything y'all say to support the 10 one reverse splits relies on the bad actors following the law. And everything I've seen over the last two years, they don't follow the law. All they're going to do is get 90% of those billions of counterfeit shares they made wiped out. And, and then they'll just go back to doing what they've been doing for the last two years. And they're going to have to build back up to that many counterfeit shares again. Anyway, please leave some comments and tell me if a 10 to 1 reverse split is so great. Why Bet Bath & Beyond hasn't done it and got rid of all their shorts? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.